I didn't know who I was and I identified with all of my limiting beliefs about being worthless. Um, I'd lost all hope in life um, and that culminated in um, a, a really serious suicide attempt. And I ended up um, in the hospital having my stomach pumped and being really frightened. I remember being really frightened and there was a moment when I was kind of semi-conscious and I was laying in the bed and the nurses were coming over to me and it was a really surreal moment because I remember being on the opposite side of what I was used to. So I would usually be the nursing help who would be supporting the clients who were feeling the way I was feeling and I could sense their animosity I could sense their frustration and anger towards me um, and I had to speak to a Spanish um, psychiatrist at the time and I my Spanish wasn't that great and in that moment I just found myself being able to speak fluent Spanish and I told him my whole life story in Spanish and it was kind of, it was like a glimmer of something beyond myself in that moment. Um, and I remember the nurse's attitudes just changing in an instant once they'd heard the background of my story um, and I felt compassion from them and a connection, a human connection. I'd survived, I'd turned my life around, I'd got myself a job, I'd found some housing. It's like, what? what is wrong with me? I'm still not happy. Um, and that was when I took up yoga and meditation. And it was one evening I was sitting on my bed and I just surrendered. I completely broke down and I said to the universe, what the hell is mental health all about? What is mental illness all about? Just please help me. And I wasn't religious. I didn't believe in anything, any greater power at that time. And it was in that moment that I experienced my spiritual awakening. It was the most euphoric, profound experience that I can't, I, I just, I can't put into words. It's, it's beyond words. And it was like, everything in my life up to that point made perfect sense all of the stress all of the everything i'd gone through with my mum since my birth all of the crisis that had happened since then just felt like such a blessing because they'd brought me to this moment but because i worked in the mental health system for so long my logical brain kicked in and I just experienced this huge kind of um, paradoxical fight within myself. But I knew without a shadow of a doubt that if I chose to believe my logical brain, I knew where my destiny would be because that was the history of my mother, her mother, all of the patients I'd supported up until that point. So I made the decision to believe in the, the, the little tiny voice that was whispering to me that, that there's more to this. Um, and I suppose it was going back to that glimmer of hope that I ha that I'd had in Spain when I was kind of the human, the humanness within me was recognized mm -hmm. from the medical staff there. It was like the recognition that we're all human and that this is this is completely normal this is an, a normal experience that you know anybody can have i love the phrase um the meaning of life is to find your purpose and the purpose is to live to give it away and that's how i feel now it's like i finally found the meaning of life that i was searching for I found my purpose and now the thing that I'm really thriving on is, is giving that away.